Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Appreciate y'all joining me again. Uh, today I'm gonna revisit these uh, these chill tapping plants that I I sowed back in uh, on the 15th of January. Um, both of them, I think I put, I believe I put about five or six seeds in each, and uh, nothing yet. So, which it's not very surprising. Uh, chill tapping's um, also known as bird's eye. They uh, they have a really a very uh, a very hard coat on the seeds. Um, it makes it really hard to to germinate them. Um, this this just came out of two um, out of two fruits that I opened, two very dried ones. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to um, germinate uh, different other seeds. And what I'm going to do is uh, soak the seeds in, this is just a uh, one part bleach to seven parts water solution. That's, that's all it is, just tap water and bleach. And um, what, what that's going to do is kind of weakens the, uh, the hard coat on the outside of that seed and hopefully... I can throw those in some soil and hopefully in about a week, maybe six or seven days, we can see some germination uh, or uh, emergence. Um, so these, I will, I will continue to wait. They could be anywhere from, you know, two to, I've heard six or eight weeks. It's, it, it depends on if you have a heating pad, which, which I do. So I'm going to go with hoping they emerge in about three, maybe another week or two. So I'll continue to wait on those and keep adding water as I need to about once a week. Um, but, but yeah, so all you got to do is submerge these uh, seeds. This, this is probably about 50. I think it was about 50 of them or so. So I'm going to have a, I'm going to give myself a good opportunity to have at least a couple, um, at least a couple germinate. So. I'd like them to go under. I guess they don't have to, but yeah, I'd like them to sink under. And I just want to have them sit in that for five minutes. And um, I'll just throw them in soil. We'll see what they look like in about a week. And uh, a funny thing about these peppers, I, I had no idea. They're actually the only native um, U.S. pepper that are... that. Uh, are native to the area so I had no idea about that and uh, there we go they all went down so um, it just gives me all the more reason to uh, to grow some of these if nothing else just the challenge that it takes it takes some work to get them to grow so I'm gonna let that wait for about five minutes and I'll be right back all right, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and drain this, drain this bleach through. Let's see. All right. Make sure you get a a screen that's obviously fine enough. These seeds are a little smaller than a typical pepper seed, um, about half the size or so. Let's see. Got two more. And I would use gloves. Uh, when I handled them, I had gloves on. Uh, they've got quite a bit of heat in them. Like I said, it's about, they're about 100,000 uh, Scovilles, so quite a bit hotter than like a jalapeno. Um, on the low end of a habanero, so they're, they're pretty, pretty spicy. Um, so now let's just let's have them dry on this piece of paper here for not too long but maybe 10 or 15 minutes while we get the container ready okay yeah so how these actually um how these actually uh, germinate so well in nature they are also like I said called uh, called the bird's eye pepper um, they what they do is the birds eat them 
they'll eat the peppers and birds are I think one of the only animals that don't taste capsaicin at all so they don't have any of the uh, <laughs> the harsh effects of the heat like we do and um, most mammals aren't going to eat them at all they're just they can taste that heat uh, so what what will happen is a bird will eat them it'll pass through their digestive tract and I guess that process going through all the acids in their stomach it will uh, it will break down that seed coat and you know wherever they they go to the bathroom that's that's where the seed will will end up sprouting and uh, and grow a plant so we don't have a bird so this is the next best thing a little bleach and a little water uh, so that's it you know just let those dry for just a little bit and then um, I'm just gonna sew them in here just kind of broadcast them I mean about a about a quarter inch down and again it's good to just put a little sheet of um, a saran wrap over it so it holds that that moisture in and it you know if you really want to get try to get a week we want to get quick germination out uh, you, you do want to use a heat pad like this um, so the soil is about a good 80 to 85 degrees which uh, which it will this I think this mat gets up to about a hundred so that soil, the seed should be about 85 or 90, something like that. So hopefully we, uh, we see some germination in, in uh, as little as a week, but uh, we'll see. And I will keep waiting on these. So um, yeah, I'm just going to let these dry a little longer and then I'll transfer them here and um, I'll update you guys in about a week. Appreciate you joining me. All right, so it's been exactly uh, two weeks and we've got there's two three four five six seven eight nine um nine came up i'm pretty pretty happy about that um you can see some of these some of the hard uh seed casings here they just want to stick on there you want to be careful typically they'll just fall off if you start trying to pull them off it might you know might injure the leaf but um yeah, about, you know, nine came up here out of, uh, I can't remember how many I did, maybe 30 seed, 35. So about 30%. Um, again, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that, you know, considering we're at day 29 here. It was, what, January 15th? Still nothing with no heat and just, you know, putting it in soil like normal. So... And I had six seeds in this one. I've got another cup the same as this. So 12 seeds that didn't come up at all. And they still may, but I'm not trying to wait over a month for seed to germinate. So, you know, using the bleach was, to me, a big success. Um, and these actually started coming up um, about, I think, five or six days ago. I could actually see them popping up out of the soil. So you know maybe eight to nine days actually to to pop out of the soil is is man is a lot better in a month so yeah um also i did have i did have the heat pad on i'm sure that does help quite a bit you know getting that soil uh warm because that's just what they're what they're accustomed to and it's it's just a tough it's just a tough seed to to uh to germinate but um yeah so I see that as a success. I'm going to wait, I, I think, a few more days until these get a little bigger before I transplant them um, or move them into uh, to a hydroponics can here. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get these growing. And they are slow growers, but I think once I get them in the, in the uh, hydroponic nutrients, they'll, they'll really shoot up. So that's it. Um, I, as always, thanks for joining me, and remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. See you next time.